he found out that the species which he is observing how they are showing adaptation it is because of the travel and how observation skills what kind of observation skills you possess but uh, since it, this work has been given to me that i have to declare the meet open so i have to carry out a formal speech which i'll do so ladies and gentlemen welcome to all the distinguished guests especially all the judges and my chief guest professor ravi shankar faculty members are tremendously gifted students who have worked tirelessly to make this event this science show a great reality what is required curiosity we talked about you know he is a professor at iit delhi and earlier he was in iit kanpur this year i got an opportunity to visit iit gandhi nagar and whatever he said is right it was not only academics which was there the evenings were planned so beautifully for each one of us and kids were singing and dancing and the kind of performance which i have seen i felt like that if anyone has to enjoy life it's not only academics you enjoy life also in iits so i have seen the glimpse of that but those three days were amazing for me i learned a lot i enjoyed food i enjoyed the ambience i enjoyed long walks so please darna darna nahi hai iit ke liye padhna hai but you have to enjoy life also now about this science exhibition the occasion commemorates knowledge curiosity and creativity today guided by the vision and passion of our young scientist we embark on a journey through the world of scientific discovery as albert einstein once said the important thing is not to stop questioning and this is a very important technique each one of you know curiosity has its own reason for existence so when you are talking about science exhibition the idea has to be novice it has to be noble it has to be new or you should be able to empathize with the problem person or the problem unless and until the empathy is there you do not understand the problem area you cannot discover you cannot identify anything new it is this curiosity which fuels our quest for knowledge and understanding driving us to explore the unknown science is a never ending journey and each one of you know that a never ending journey for what for unknown for which we have never seen a never ending quest to unravel the secret of the universe science empowers us by revealing the mysteries of nature and guiding us towards innovation development and a better future and who all can talk about better future than you you are the future builders you are the one who are in the classroom discovering everything new <coughs> i'm sorry we understand the language of cosmos how through experimentation and observation as i said observation is a very 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 important technique a small object placed in front of you if you try to observe it carefully you can find out at least 100 things which are present on a very small object even an even on your phone it is based on experimentation evidence and it seeks truth through observation and verifiable data and nowadays it is said that data is gold mine day before yesterday or two days before there was a conference in uh, mumbai it was national sahodaya and one of the cbsc experts said data is only the gold mine which we have to ensure that it should be utilized properly life is all about challenges a true winner is one who accepts those challenges and walks on the path without fear I would like to share a small poem in every heart a dream takes flight in every